TRT um, honeymoon phase because uh, we all know um, maybe that's psychosomatic as well. A lot of people get improvement very rapidly in the libido uh, section and so on. But then uh, again, after a few months, that declines uh, again. So what is your take on that? The honeymoon period is really interesting. Um, it's, it's, it's one of the most difficult things that I have to manage with clients because I, I work with so many guys starting their TRT or inheriting guys within the first 12 months of starting their TRT. And the honeymoon period is one of the most difficult things to navigate because of how it pops up for different people. So one is when people don't get a honeymoon period, they freak out. So they go, oh, okay, I'm, I'm eight to 12 weeks into TRT and I don't really feel that much. Maybe I, I, I have a bit more energy in the gym. I wake up a bit better. Maybe I have a couple more morning erections a week. And they think that something's wrong. They go, oh, my dose is too low or I need to do this. No, no, that's normal. You're actually meant to only, I, I say, look, if you're t 10 to 20% better after eight to 12 weeks, that's what we're looking for. That's the right thing. That, that's, that, that's a perfect, typical response. Um, so some guys will freak out if they don't get a honeymoon period. So nothing wrong if you don't get a honeymoon period. It doesn't mean, oh, let's crank the levels up. It just means the body needs time to adjust. We're going in gradually. It's working well. Now, some guys will get a very remarkable honeymoon period, and they'll either get a honeymoon period within the first couple of days of doing their first injection, or they'll get a honeymoon period for the first, like, you know, four to eight weeks. Now, one of the theories is it's around, oh, your natural production still going. And then when your natural production drops off, I have not seen any research, any evidence to show that when guys pull lab work after a week or two, there's a doctor in Australia who gets guys to do bloods after two weeks. I don't know why, but FSH and LH are zero after two weeks. Um, so I don't think it has to do with the natural production lingering. I think that that's, that's false. Um, I think it's to do with dopamine. So testosterone, androgens in general are dopaminergic. Androgens regulate the dopaminergic system. Now, there's lots of ways the dopaminergic system works. It's not just more dopamine equals better. You've got dopamine creation. You've got dopamine metabolism. You've got dopamine synthesis. You've got dopamine receptor activity. You've got dopamine reuptake. So there's lots of different categories to this. And what androgens do, thyroid does it as well, is it facilitates androgen transmission, which means more in, more out, capacity for more. So... If, if you're if you're constantly here and your, your your body has no idea that you're about to start TRT, your body is blind, your body is just operating the way that it has been for the last X amount of days, months, weeks, years, whatever. And then if you're going to come in and jab, you know, 100 milligrams, 200 milligrams of test in whatever, for your first jab, your body had no idea that was coming. So what's happened is now your dopamine transmission has massively increased, but the body hasn't built the machinery yet to be able to handle that increased dopaminergic transmission. So you're going to have more flowing before your body has the uh, capacity to be able to know what to do with it. And that can be euphoric, which is nice because it's like, okay, now I felt like shit for ages. I've had all these low energy hypogonadism, um, you know, drained emotionally, spiritually, physically, sexually, and all kind of aspects. And so now it's like, ah, oh, okay, now I've got some fire. Now I feel good. And then that pitters out after six to eight weeks. And then people go, oh, what happened? I, I want that back again. That is more chasing a dopamine spike. And that's the thing that people need to understand and go, okay, that gave you a preview of what you could feel and experience day to day if you do everything right. And what guys need to learn is they need to go, okay, testosterone is going to be able to facilitate me feeling that way. Maybe not quite the honeymoon way, but close to that way all the time. But I have to work with it. And the, the thing that I come back to that a friend of mine trained me in, in terms of working with people a while back, is this idea of meeting the medicine halfway in terms of you can't just inject your testosterone and, and expect to, you know, get jacked straight away. You've got to inject your testosterone and then you've got to go to the gym. You've got to meet it halfway. Well, it's the same for how you feel. It's the same for how you wake up. It's the same for your mental point of origin. It's the same for all these different things that you want from the testosterone after you do your injection, the outcomes that you're looking for outcomes that you're looking for will be facilitated by the TRT, but it's how you meet the medicine halfway to get the outcome that you're looking for. And it's not about just sitting down and doing your testosterone injections and going, oh, it takes a year to work. It takes a year of you actually meeting the medicine halfway and showing up to get the results of being a high testosterone male after a year. So time is a variable, but time is really just opportunity to do work that you need to do. And that there is usually a point that guys get to on TRT. Some guys get it straight away, 
some guys take a couple of years to get it, but there is a point where people go, oh, I can't out protocol this. I can't find the magic X milligrams of this or whatever milligrams of that to, to get what I'm looking for. It's the discipline, it's the diet, it's, the, it's, it's, it's everything habitually stacked consistently over multiple times that gets what people are looking for.